Hi guys. In this video we're going to have a look at the tape deck from that Technic stack system. No, need power to open them. I don't think there's any. Or you can just yank on them like that. That works as well. No, plenty of cobwebs and dust in there, but uh, not much else. So, here we go again. Back on the battery. This wire is actually fixed to this one. And unlike the other units, I've just noticed we've got two screws in the back here. At the top, holding the cover on. That in there. This is the last section for this. Probably would be a lot quicker if I had a electric one. Oh. Nearly dropped that screw. So many videos to catch up on. got a few other bits and pieces I want to dissect as well. Never know, might be able to salvage some parts from here to fix the uh, uh, 1980s one, maybe 1970s one, whatever it is, in the bedroom. Or well, this may be too new. Get off, you stupid thing. Right. Ouch, that was my ears. Okay. Well, I know where this wire's going. In the wire bag with all the others. So, I'm not actually sure how I'm going to take this apart yet. I've got a board with a wire on it and a screw down here. Not at all sure what the hell that actually is. There's all the gubbins for both tape decks. And there is a bit more surface mount stuff on this one. The only thing is, I've got to figure out how to get it all apart. Um, That there, see if we can find any hint. No, it is literally a circuit board with a screw through it and a piece of wire on it mounted to the chassis. That is it. first shall we one end cable bag that one can stay where it is for the moment need the stubby screwdriver because I've got a few screws in here and there's no way that long one's going to go in here. So we've got one there. Let me see three at the minute. One in the middle. I can see one plastic hook and some pins which look like they just guide the board in. Oh, I can see one at the bottom as well. One sort of in the middle here. No, there's two at the bottom. I'll just see another one. No, with any luck, this 
board should maybe <laughs> pop off the back here. If it doesn't, then I haven't got a clue. This, as far as I can see, is the last screw. And those little motors off here wouldn't be a bad idea. Right. Oh, so that plugs in. Ah, here we go. No idea what that thing is. Right. So there is the first circuit board. Mm -hmm. Found some more screws and a dead spider. Well, isn't that surprising? Okay. The advantage of using the long one is it's magnetic. I might just be able to get in there with it now. There's three screws across the top here that I can see. actually unclips now. Yay, it does. That is going to make life a lot easier, so that whole module comes out like that. Right. I think I'll leave it at that for this video. But uh, as I've done in the previous videos, I will uh, just show you the segments here. See, all that is. It's just a metal or circuit board. But that one wire going to it, and that was just screwed to the chassis. Ooh. That don't look none too sh brilliant. That's actually sunk. So that might have been one of the problems. It may have um, developed multiple problems, but I can't see anything on here I, on the circuit board itself that I'd want to salvage. Some funky looking caps on here. Uh, you know, caps are cheap. Is there anything on the back? Yeah, some ICs on the back, surface mount. They're the only things in this whole stereo that were surface mount. Oh no, there's a few little Resistors and things up here I've just seen. I think they're resistors. I've got my magnifying glass anyway. Nothing on that. I think what I'll want to salvage is actually on this, which I'll take apart in another video. There's all the drive belts, the motors I'll have off, and uh, anything else I can find actually that might be useful. It's actually handy that that just uh, clips on. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and, and subscribe. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.